Hello friends, welcome to another session. So here we are uh, beginning a new series, uh, branch and bound algorithms. So basically branch and bound algorithms are uh, optimization algorithms. So they are used to optimize the outcome and uh, they are used to minimize the optimization function. So basically they are uh, optimization algorithms and they are to minimize the cost function or the value which we want to minimize. So of course so if you want to maximize then uh, we can work in terms of uh, the negative values. So minimizing the negative values means it's uh, indirectly calling of maximizing the positive values. Okay. Then the major uh, part of this is uh, it keeps uh, branching. There is branch. So it creates a tree structure and then there is something called bound and this bound uh, verifies so whether extending the subtree is uh, useful or not and if you are sure that it is not going to help in extending that subtree we can just bound it and uh, prune the tree. So that means from that onwards the tree won't grow in that direction. So this way if you just uh, keep looking at uh, what happens. So if you begin so there may be many options and from there there will be many options from here there will be many options from here there will be many options but uh, another important issue is as in a search algorithm which was uh, getting into deeper and deeper from one end it doesn't go so it uh, works on uh, level wise so that means uh, something like a breadth first search. So this is the first node, then this will be the second, this is third, this is fourth, this is fifth. And after this, now it depends on, it can be sixth year, and then this will become seventh, or this will become eighth, this will become ninth, and so on. So that's one operation. Other way is this can be 6, this can be 7, this can be 8, this can be 9 and so on. Now what is happening is because the fifth node was the last one to emerge. So it continues from the fifth node. Whereas in the previous case, second node was the first among all these siblings. So it started growing from second. So this is uh, one which we call uh, whichever comes first will uh, grow first. So this is our first in, first out logic. And whereas this one is the one which came last. So it is last in first out logic and there can be one more where among all these things among 2, 3, 4 and 5 if you just find out the cost function then if you identify that the cost function of this is small then this will become 6, this will become 7, this will become 8 and this will become 9 after that, it is verified cost function of 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 and 5 
and among these all whichever cost function is less so it begins from there growing so this type of thing is called least cost or lc branch and bound this is fifo branch and bound this is lifo branch and bound and this is lc branch and bound so basically there are three types of branch and bound techniques and all of them strictly follow the breadth wise nothing depth wise so once say if you say uh, least count or least cost then after three is expanded it doesn't look at least cost among six seven eight nine where it will see look in two six seven eight nine four and five all these and then decide whichever is having least cost and that will be extended so if i found to have least cost then from five it starts so after nine <coughs> this will become 10 this will become 11 this will become 12 and so on so that's a uh, logic if uh, this happens to be uh, next after three so it means the cost of three cost of three is less than cost of uh, six seven eight nine cost of four uh, cost of three is less than cost of two four five all then once this is done so because of this we get a new thing six seven eight nine and among them if you find that cost of phi is less than all the costs of two six seven eight nine and four then phi will be expanded to ten eleven and 12 and next we have 2 6 7 8 9 4 10 11 12 whichever is having smallest that will on the other side we keep watching uh, is it uh, exceeding the limit so when we reach the leaf then when we reach the leaf then we get something called bound and later we work with this bound for future actions how all this is done let's see with examples in the coming session thank you